Welcome everyone to another XPN Network video game review. I'm SSG, aka Sergeant Sentinel, and today we're discussing Starfield. But before we continue, I want to say thanks if you're watching this video. We do greatly appreciate it here at XPN Network. Hit that like button if you enjoy this video. Leave a comment if you have something to say. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit that bell icon so you can be notified when we upload new content whether it's live streams, podcasts, or game review videos. Developed by Bethesda Game Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks, of course, owned by Microsoft, Starfield is an RPG that released September 6th, 2023. Now, for those that had the early access option, that started on September 1st. And yes, that was me. I did play Starfield early because I was so excited about everything that I had seen from Starfield. I wanted to be playing it as soon as possible. Now, Starfield is an action role-playing game. There are different types of RPGs, but it is an action role-playing game. You can play it from either first or third person. And this, of course, is much in line with a lot of the RPGs that we've seen Bethesda produce over the past 25 years. This is their first series, their first IP though in 25 years and because of that it had a lot of people tremendously excited anticipating what was guaranteed to be a phenomenal adventure and Starfield didn't disappoint for the most part. Now there was some controversy regarding Starfield and Xbox buying it so that PlayStation could not have it. I'm not going to discuss that in this video. I'm going to keep this video pretty focused on Starfield, its positives, and its negatives. Now, I want to get the negatives out of the way first because I feel like they do warrant attention. Now, it was said by Bethesda that this was the most bug-free game that they put out in years or ever and I don't really feel like that's the case there are a number of bugs that I did run into some of them are almost game breaking if not game breaking like the mission icon that you need in order to talk to a certain person to progress in a level it just doesn't unlock and I've had a couple of saves that were corrupted and I had to delete them and it was frustrating it was troubling now keep in mind they have been addressing these bugs as fast as possible. It might take them less time with Starfield because there's been more attention on it than other games in the past, like Fallout 76. But it is bug Thesda we're talking about. So having bugs and glitches in games isn't really that much of a surprise, especially coming from them, as they do have a reputation for putting out games with lots and lots of bugs. Additionally, criticism has been leveled at Starfield because of their dated uh, dialogue options and how some of these characters look. Now, that's not to say that Starfield is a bad-looking game by any means, but the character animations and how you interact with them is classic Bethesda, so it's no evolution whatsoever on their part, for better or for worse. If you enjoy this type of dialogue option and how they, how, how characters interact with one another, how they look, how they move, then that's not going to be an issue, but for those of you that want a true evolution of these types of elements within Bethesda games, you're going to be disappointed. Um, that's pretty much the negative out of the way. Well, and one, one other thing, it's not necessarily a negative, but the main storyline, and I'm not going to mention spoilers, the main storyline can be disappointing to some, but... With that being said, let's talk about the positives, and there are a lot of them. Um, speaking specifically about the story, outside of the main storyline, there is so much to do in Starfield, and you're essentially able to explore many different planets within this galaxy. Now, that's not to say all of them are unique. A lot of them are, in quotation marks, procedurally generated and that means that you'll have outposts that you have to clear of bad guys that look identical, if not extremely familiar, to outposts you might have had to clear in different star systems. But again, with a game this big, that's pretty much the only way 
Bethesda could pull it off and allow you to have tons of different planets to land on with bases that you have to clear of all the bad guys. Like I said, it's not a bad thing necessarily. It's just with a game this size, it was almost a given that they were going to have to do this. A big plus to this game is the scenery. And I'm sure you've seen a lot online of some of the amazing vistas, I guess is what you call them. The landscapes of these different planets, able to stare into space, look at the stars. It's absolutely beautiful. It's breathtaking. So many people have been taking phenomenal screenshots of, you know, when they're on a planet, they're looking across the planet's landscape and they can see a nearby planet on the horizon it looks beautiful it looks phenomenal and when you're in space it's amazing as well now the space combat is pretty solid it's not on the grand level of something like star wars but i think if we do see a new iteration in starfield you're definitely going to see them upgrade that just a bit they just needed something solid to offer as far as space combat and legitimately i think that their space combat is pretty solid it's manageable it's understandable and for the most part i think it's approachable whereas some more difficult games might not be starfield is pretty approachable as far as the space combat goes also synonymous with a lot of bethesda games is the ability to base build and i think they put a lot of care and concern into this and if you really pay attention to how you put together your space base or your spaceport or whatever you're going to call it and you really look online especially looking online to some of these people that that focus mostly on that you can get a lot of great tips and guidelines about how to build the best base possible which allows you of course to sell resources to some of these outposts and not only are there achievements tied to this but it can allow you to earn a lot of money really fast now one portion about the game before we close that I want to talk about is the different factions that you can be a part of. There are different factions because there's a huge storyline about an intergalactic war, essentially, or a galactic war that happened, and you can decide to be part of one of these uh, factions or another, and there are benefits for this. Some of them, they give you ships. Some of them, they give you armor. Some of them, it pays a lot of money. So it's great to see so many overlapping storylines, big and little, as part of Starfield. And it makes this a game that you're going to want to come back to time and again and sink a lot of hours in because it is a tremendously fun space action adventure game. Now, last but certainly not least is the future of Starfield. Not, not mentioning the patches or updates or any of that stuff. I'm talking about DLC, expansions. You experience throughout the storyline, the main storyline, and again, no spoilers, that there are definitely cliffhanger moments where some of these storylines haven't been tied off or finished, and it is leaving the door open for some of these to be expanded upon, and some of them are smaller that may result in, you know, three or four or five missions. Other ones might be 20 hours of content themselves so it's great to see that they're thinking ahead and they want to have this type of dlc opportunity left in their game so that they can come back to it and continue to improve on this world and that shows just how much they really care about starfield so if you have the ability to I'm, i understand playstation gamers can't i'm sorry for you but if you have the ability to starfield in my opinion it's not the game of the generation like some people said but it is a game that you want to play and if you're kind of hesitant because of some of those bugs keep an eye on the updates and patches that bethesda releases and whenever they say hey we release a big patch that fixes a b and c then check it out because despite having numerous issues with it i had a lot of fun i probably have over 180 hours in it and it was one of the greatest gaming experiences I've had in years, especially being a fan of Bethesda RPGs and action-adventure games. So if you haven't checked it out yet, I would definitely recommend doing so. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We do greatly appreciate it here at XPN Network. 
If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button. Share it with someone who may enjoy it as well. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit our bell icon so you can be notified when we upload new content, whether it's live streams, whether it's our podcast on Saturdays, or whether it's new video game reviews. Definitely hit that bell icon and check out the other videos on our channel. This is SSG, a.k.a. Sergeant Sentinel. Take it easy, gamers.